We're live at Threat Stadium here in New York, New York, the home of the Tyrants. Who would like to remind you that the game will begin after the mandatory half an hour clapping is over. The first one to stop clapping will be killed. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Carolina Panthers battle the New York Tyrants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was hanging on the title now. You know what happened? <laughs> and MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslide to be done. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. Hey, no game, no. man. I can't. Come on, I got to get on the gap. Get on up. Get on up. And it's first and ten. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. Full man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down in a mile. Oh, good run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a... He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. First and ten. And let the work speed during Brick. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. It's a touchdown! And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who was intuitive? I don't know, what? And a werewolf! <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can 
and keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down and the punter is warming up. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car. And, and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brain Man with a ball and didn't fall down. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Glam. Second down, and he often says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. And they're 
picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Third down, the offense needs a miracle. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And up comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. And the defense goes for the juggle. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. <laughs> threatened to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref dirty trick. And this is a first and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Let me tell you, getting shot this no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed hopper for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel and got blown across the room into the theater antlers. First and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. The receiver runs away from the pass marker. That's a good clue that something's not right. Second down and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and ten. 
And uses Strawberry Fields' dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward is now. Huge pass play for one yard. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. And I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Ass here. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. Third and two. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, man, he really stepped on a First and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy game. Second down and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. First down and five. And they run it for a couple of yards. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. 
And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points. Let's move on. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soylent beer? And they're taking the field for the second half, and we have got a tie score. Uh, speaking of tie, Grim, me and Hot Wanda, we wanted to try something different, so we tied each other up the other night, and nothing happened because we were both tied up. I don't understand what the big deal is. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. For. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. First down. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the cube. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's Drive. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> first down in a mile. The defenders want speed to kick in. He's so fast, he can run a kick off on country. He broke free and has open field in front of him. You know, the lead you to 
flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid right now mobsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolf. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? they just be called Senate. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. One game, one game. What are you trying to impress your third fan base to bring him in? Like bricks and fouls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind with the brain scrambler. Second down and more than the QB would like. Gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. High arcing rainbow, and he's got a chance for a good return here. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. First down, and this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, telling me. Nice run. No, I mean he's a real stud. He works at the mutant stud farm weekends and summers. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for a first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up third and one. This isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't... One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down, and we've got a 
pick up at least half of this. Nice run for five yards. Third down and, well, good luck. And like a monkey try, and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. Third down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Third down, and never going to happen. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. He's not going down. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. <laughs> And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. We're tying up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Second down and two. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second 
second down and ten. You can't keep a good mute. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and this guy is supercharged with electricity. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Oh, he should be more careful when he hurdles. He could go all the way. The 10. And the defense is on his heels. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on Grim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. He punched him, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. Second down and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. You know what they say, Grim? Give an inch and they'll take a mile. Which is why the defense gave them nothing and they're taking a seat. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and five. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he picks up. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford and the Axe Murmur. Did the shock treatment work? She killed four of the doctors and zapped her. They never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. Second down and six. Caught for the first.
first down. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the first. And no more timeouts. The D needs to stop. This is intense. No, Grim. Camping is intense. <laughs> Get it? Idiot. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' his mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. The Tyrants defeat their opposition and walk away triumphant. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, there he's got it now. Yep. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every other.